What's going on everybody? Welcome back uh, to my channel. All right, Amazon, you guys came through and sent this to me earlier than I expected. I wanna show you what this is. I will hold off for right now and I'll show you in a little bit. First things first, um, I like the way like my setup is for these YouTube videos, but I decided to kind of think outside the box. Um, and I thought about getting some like hangover lights. So I kind of want to drape some lights uh, back there. I ordered some and they came in today. They didn't come with the light bulb, which is fine because it gave me the opportunity to go to Target and actually get the right wattage that I want because I wanted more of like a, a dim, gloomy, like relaxing type feel. So I picked some up. Um, it was three that came in here and they are 4.5 watts, which is really low, which again, it's perfect for that really like subtle, relaxing feel. And I also got a candle because I do like candles and I place them randomly. I don't know where, but this one smelled amazing. Um, so I'm gonna light this up. I'm gonna start hanging this up over there and then we will get to that box, the mystery box. Let's grab another light bulb. I really like how these look. Like these are some really cool looking light bulbs. And it looks weird with like <laughs> my face right here. That's actually really cool for like a thumbnail. All right. Put them back up. That's pretty cool. So that's what they look like. They're actually they're pretty bright, but I like. Them. I think I might do one like where one is like draped on that side, and then on that side <laughs> yeah I think that'd be pretty cool actually it's pretty cool um, kind of like the other way what do you guys think maybe we should keep it like that or go back to the first the first way I had it I'm gonna keep it like that right now but it just depends but let's move on to the box the mystery box. This pertains to video, so it pertains to camera gear. So this helps out for people who are shooting, let's say, multiple pictures or for weddings, if it takes a lot of, a lot of your battery, um, shooting videos. This is a battery pack. Um, this clips onto the bottom of the camera. You can actually put in two uh, of your batteries but that way you get um, a longer lasting duration, you know, from your camera because you have a battery pack, which takes in two batteries. So let's open this up. This is what it looks like. Um, the company that makes this is MCO Plus. I'm, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. That's gotta be how you pronounce it. I, I don't know. MCO Plus. It's a professional multifunction power battery grip. So this goes with the Canon EOS R, which I will be plugging into this. I will show you what it looks like after. So what I'll need to do is actually switch to my Sony camera in order to show you what it will look like on the Canon. All right, so we are now on the Sony camera. Sorry for the quality. This isn't the best Sony camera. And um, the audio is gonna be a little bit different because I don't have my mic set up to it. So just bear with me. Um, I wanna make this quick because I'm only at 4% for my Sony camera right now. So let's just get this set up. So it comes with this white piece you gotta take off. And I already took the back plate off of the charging port uh, or the battery pack port. And you simply, Put that in there but there's a locking wheel back here that you kind of just screw in and then it'll go in there 
So now my camera looks pretty beefed up, pretty beefy right now. Um, and again, simply with the back plate here, you open that up and you will have where you put the um, batteries in. So let's go ahead and pop those in. All right, so now we are good to go. But essentially this is what it looks like. Um, nothing really fancy to it. Uh, there's not much explaining to go into why this is needed. Uh, it's not, you know, essentially it's not needed for everybody, but for those who are actually gonna be doing shoots that actually takes up a lot of battery power from the camera itself, I would suggest getting one of these. And it wasn't pricey at all, I believe. You know, don't quote me on this, I believe I paid about $35 or $40, something like that. Um, I will leave a link in the description for this. Um, but it just goes to show that this might be something that's needed if you're making longer videos. Um, you know, a, a perfect example, I talked about it in my uh, review for the Canon EOS R. Uh, I'll put a link to that video down in the description box as well. But I also I talk about how you can run out of battery a little bit faster than normal. So it's better to have, you know, a battery pack for this. I now have one. So anyways, the camera is dying. It is at 3%. I can see that. Um, again, sorry for the quality for this. You know, the ending of this video when I switched to the Sony, this unfortunately doesn't have the best camera quality. Um, but, you know, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, I wanted to make this a quick one, but if you did, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you have any comments, let me know. And again, let me know what you guys think about having those there. I want to see if you guys like it on that side or on both. So just let me know. But other than that, you guys have a good one.